Hi everyone, Ross from the Academy at Trump International Golf Club Dubai here. Today we're going to be looking at chipping from a tight lie. From the tight lie, especially around the, the aprons of Trump, they're very, very tight. So you should be able to get quite a lot of spin on the golf ball. The benefits of this is that you can strike the ball from the bottom grooves, which will give the ball a lot of friction, a lot of spin. So you should be able to get the ball to sit down pretty quickly. For this, you want to be using your most lofted club. In this instance today, I've got my 56 degree. So to get this shot right, it's all about the contact. So what we don't want to be doing is getting the weight too far forward or the handle of the golf club too far forward. That will then get your wrists quite active. And from there, we can get all kinds of strikes, little schools along the ground or a little bit heavy, a little bit of a duff behind the ball. And we're not going to get that impact that we want. So stance not too wide. You can see the ball is there off the center of my heels. From there, when we take our grip, we're just looking to try and keep the shaft and the handle quite neutral towards the center of my body. From there with the technique, we're going to try and keep the hands very, very passive. So you can see there, the handle and my body have turned together. Hands passive on the way through, make sure that we're turning through with the golf club. Bruising the grass as we go through. So you can see here from down the line, golf club and body moving together. Very passive hands, no wrist work there turn through, bruise the grass as I go through. From sort of 20 yards or so like we are here, we should get a little bit of zip on the ball where the ball is trying to hop and check and then probably release to the hole. Let's give this a little go. We're gonna set up, neutral stance, ball in the center, handle and the shaft quite neutral with the body, hands passive, body turning with the club and try and zip it into the back of the ball. 